Hey guys, it's MJ the Student Act Tree, and in this video, I want to show you how to turn your friends' loans into AAA securities. Now, I must just give a little warning. What I'm about to show you might be illegal in your own country without proper license and regulations and all that type of stuff. So just bear that in mind when we go through this video. Um, the big motivation for this video is I subscribe to this guy called The King of Random and he does all these how-to videos and I absolutely love them. Um, specifically, he's one on how to make proto putty, although when I tried to do it, um, yeah, I just made a, made a big mess. So instead, I wanted to do a video like him. So this video is basically how to make your own triple A security. And what you're going to need for this video is you're going to need say around three friends and you're going to be needing to to make the following assumptions so what you want to do is you want to give a hundred dollars to three of your friends and you need to well hopefully um, give it to friends and let's say they have a 90 percent chance of paying you back the loan very important assumption to make is that all your friends are also independent so if the one doesn't pay it doesn't have any impact on whether the other person will pay now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking those three friends' loans and we're going to be dicing them up, chopping them up, and creating our very own security. So we're going to be making three types of securities. And green means it's going to be very, like hardly any risk, and red means there's going to be lots of risk. So for our green security, uh, which we're going to show is going to be triple A rated, what the contract says is that we're going to take those three friends and we're going to group them together. And what we're going to say is that if just one of them has to repay in order for this contract to pay out. So what you would do with this contract is it's $100 and this contract will get us money back if just one of the three people repay their loan. Which means what is the risk? Well, the risk for this one is that if all three of the friends default, and remember there's a 10% chance that each of the friends default. So and because we're assuming independence, the probability that all three of them default and that you absolutely lose this, um, this investment is incredibly small, which means that it has a 99.9% .9 chance of repaying. And like I said, that is triple A rated. So mm, that is perfection over there. Now the middle one is we can have the rule that say just two of them have to repay. Now, the mathematics for this one gets a little bit more complicated because, you know, there's going to be, you know, a little bit of combination and permutation functions going on. But essentially, it breaks down to having a security of 97.2%, which we'll see is around a triple B or even an A rated uh, type of bond. Now, what we're basically doing is we're transferring all the risk um, out of these contracts and putting them into the red one. So the red one works or the red one will only repay if all three of the friends, um, you know, don't default. Which means the mathematics is 90% to the power of three, which means there's only a 72.9% chance that this security will not default. Which kind of gives it that junk status. Okay, so now basically just to recap, before, what we had were three friends with three loans of $100 each, and each of them had a 90% chance of, rep of, of repaying. After we've done our little um, actuarial magic, what we have now are we have three other uh, securities. Both, all three of them are also $100. Remember, no money's just been created or destroyed. But what we've done is we've repackaged the risk um, across these three contracts. And like I said before, the green one is now triple A rated, the middle ones will be a B rating, and the final one will be like around a C rating. Now the whole reason is, why on earth would we want to do this? You're probably watching this video and being like, what's, what's the point of this? Well, this is when the economics comes in, because of this whole thing known as supply and demand, okay? What we have in the world is we have these things called pension funds. Now, pension funds have got trillions of dollars. That's right. I used the T word, trillions of dollars under management. However, pension funds are only allowed or a big chunk of their money has to go into triple A rated 
securities. So if your friends wanted to get a loan from a pension fund, they would go, mm -mm, we can't have you, sorry, go away. However, by taking your three friends and dicing and repackaging their risk, you can now actually sell your friend's loans to a pension fund. And because there's such a very limited supply of pure triple A uh, bonds, due to supply and demand, you can fetch a much better price for your green contract. However, you can't just pocket all of that extra price because you might want to make the red one a little bit more attractive because not many people are going to be wanting this one. However, if you take the profit that you make off the green one and you subsidize this one a little bit, then you're definitely going to be getting the attention of hedge fund managers and you will actually be able to pass this entire instrument onto them. So basically what you've done is you've taken advantage of the inefficiencies created through regulation. And by doing this, you can actually, it, it can actually be quite profitable. Well, essentially, all you're doing is you're taking loans, you're chopping them up, you're repackaging them, selling them off, you're taking advantage of the supply and demand curve, and essentially, you can make millions and millions, if not trillions of dollars, because, you know, there's all these percentages that you can make on the loans. And, yeah, that, that is my little how-to video. So this is actually, yeah how to make your own triple A rated uh, bonds. It's not as entertaining as the King of Random. I absolutely love his channel. So go check it out. But, oh, I almost forgot to promote my book. So if you enjoyed this video, I have written a little mini textbook on understanding, you know, financial instruments with simple diagrams. Um, this part of the book, I kind of focused on chapter three, you know, around mortgage-backed securities and all of that. So I will put a link in the description below. Uh, you guys can go and buy my book on Amazon. Okay, that's all I needed to say. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys for the next video. Cheers.